This is a CBS News special report. America decides campaign 22, the August 2nd primaries. I'm Major Garrett in Washington. Thanks so much for joining us. Tonight, the polls are closed or will soon close in five states. Voters in Michigan, Missouri, Kansas, Arizona, and Washington are picking party nominees for Election Day in November. We will have preliminary results from some of those states, but more than that, we will have themes running through these contests that are sure to be a part of our national midterm conversation among them. How debate over abortion rights will influence turnout, a ballot question in Kansas will give us a clue. Election denialism, Republicans parroting falsehoods about the 2020 election are seeking big jobs. Is this a GOP fault line? How will attitudes about the economy, specifically inflation, affect turnout and enthusiasm? Will former President Trump be an asset or liability for the GOP? Are President Biden's low poll numbers toxic for Democrats? All of this will flow through races for governor, the U.S. Senate, U.S. House, and important state election administration positions. And remember this. Republicans need only four seats in November to win control of the U.S. House and just one seat to shift control of the U.S. Senate. A power change in either chamber will slam the brakes on the Biden agenda and kick off hostile investigations changing the policy and tone of national politics. There's another theme tonight, impeachment grievance. Three House Republicans who voted to impeach Trump are facing primary challenges. And of course, there is the continuing proxy war between Trump and former Vice President Pence, where their endorsements differ as part of Pence's pursuit of a new post-Trump political identity. Now, we're going to take stock of all of this and dive into the new CBS News Battleground Tracker. Our election data team has its first U.S. House estimate and a brand new analysis of potential control of the U.S. Senate. Now, it's just after 9 p.m. here on the East Coast. We have some vote totals, so let's take a look. So in Kansas, on that amendment question dealing with abortion, right now, no, 63.9%, yes, 36.9%. 3%. To clarify, yes means giving the legislature access to rewrite law in Kansas about abortion access. No means leave things as they are under the current constitutional amendment. Let's shift now to Kansas governor's race on the Republican side. In the primary, Derek Schmidt, with we are looking at about 9% of the vote in, 75%. Arlen Briggs, 25%. Shifting now to Kansas Democratic governor, that primary, I believe we have a projection. Yes, indeed, we do. Laura Kelly, according to CBS, the projected winner, Kansas Democratic gubernatorial primary. Shifting to Michigan and the Republican primary there, very crowded field. Currently, Tudor Dixon, endorsed by former President Trump, with about 12% of that vote in, 43.2%. The rest of the Republican field, you can see. Shifting now to Missouri Senate, we're going to do both the Republicans and Democrats. Republicans first, just a tiny percent of the vote in, about 4%. Eric Schmidt, one of two Eric's in this race to have received a pseudo endorsement from former President Trump with 40%. Vicki Hartzler, 26. Eric Greitens, the other Eric who might have received an endorsement. Remember, former President Trump just said he was endorsing Eric. That's where the Republican primary for the Senate in Missouri currently stands. On the Democratic side, Trudy Bush Valentine, Bush, yes, that is, if it appears familiar, definitely related to Anheuser Bush, 49.9%. Lucas Kuntz, 27.6, with about 5% of the vote in. That's what the ha we have right now is in terms of early vote, not early vote in the sense of mail voting, but early results in tonight's election. CBS News Elections and Survey Director Anthony Salvanto joins me now, and he has the latest results from our new CBS poll. So, Anthony, first question. If you can, tell the audience what primary voters this evening might be looking for. Good evening, Major. So the